Moonlight Shadow. Is he going to go for this? Is risky. Oh, he blinks into down. Him. Oh, no. Max caught out. Insta Avalanche toss combo. Brings the PA down pretty low. RP only connecting on one. Moon just dodges away, and now the chase is on. DJ up trying. the high ground. Tried up. Dangerous place to fight. I'm not sure if they noticed the DD run on Fly Fly. Verona gets shredded, but here comes 23 Savage with the call down. Only hitting two heroes, but it seems it's Let's enough. Forcing Ollie back, forcing Emo back, running through them. Very tanky Kunkka with the boat buff. Oh, and now nice PA bleed. wants to re-engage, coming back towards Moon. I don't think he can do this now. Has to TP out the Avalanche. Catches him out, prevents it. Gets the kill. Four heroes dead, just like. Yeah, they need her damage. Is the PA going to TP in? There is still a shrine, so could get there pretty quickly. Blink over. But before that happens, already heroes getting jumped. Oh, nice arrow. Emo, Roar, controlled. Ice, Ice, Ice. They'll bring him down. They take the flats out of the fight. They lose the Kunkka turn. The stolen Roar. Well played by Kaka. Gets back to safety. Has that Aether Lens now. Stops the skewer out. Where's the PA? She's still farming. She's still pushing. Not going to join the fight. The team's getting massacred, and Fly Fly is just hitting creeps top. Yeah, they weren't on the same page at all. Whereas Fnatic, the second they see IG coming, they just jump the moon with the initiation with his blink. Yules, these setups from DJ. Arrow coming through. There's no roar, though. He might be able to skewer back to safety, but they're converging. In fact, Fly Fly's here. They've sprung the trap. They look to turn it around. Roar still a long ways off, almost 50. 50 seconds. Dagger, no, he dodges it, it with the oh, smoke! DJ. The play is by DJ! <laughs> and they're gonna oh, hunt PA. Oh no, now Fly Fly in trouble. Doesn't out. This is the big chance. They've caught the Aegis gyro. Is expiring they in can three. kill him once. Oh, is it gonna be too okay, soon? Too it soon. is. Oh, they man. needed to wait a few more seconds there. Imagine if they kill him right after. Could yeah. have been huge. The blink skewer oh, interrupted and so denied. Well Fly Fly now. Going in, there is no lore to deal with them, but I think they're just too tanky. These blinks are insufficient. The Phantom Strike's not getting the job done. He's got to turn tail, he's got to run, and now the Yules, the homie missile coming through. They can go on a blink chuck. Come and play with my friend, Mr. Fly Fly, and Fly Fly away back to your well. That's an ultra kill. It could even be a rampage. Leaping forward, the GGs are called, and IG oh, man. are denied thoroughly. Now the tips come. Yep, they're tipping each other. DJ, 23 Savage, both of those two guys played so incredibly well. The triangle. IG also roaming in. They've got the boat. Level 2 X is available. He's so close to that relic. It'd be a real shame if he died now, and they're going to find him with the X. Tor coming through. Boat coming through. Lena ult available. Ice Blast everything thrown at this Alk, and boy, do they shred him. He did not the buy turnaround. it. But the turnaround, I don't not think it's enough. enough. Yeah. The AoE damage, the nukes, the stuns. Ice 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 also in danger here. Tries to chain away. He's clipped mid-chain, and while that's going on, Emo, he's diving DJ in the middle lane. A follow-up chains connects a remnant forward, another kill, and a mega kill streak. This is IG at their finest, all aggression, and relentlessly so. What can they get? What's it going to be? Who do they catch? 23 Savage revealed by Kaka in the trees. They X him to start. This is going to force out that BKB. No, blink. Well done. Hangs on to the charge. Really needed it. Radiance is off, toggles it back on, and starts coming in. Looking for who? It's the Ember Spirit. They are going to bring him down. DJ with the triple remnant. Lunging forward. Huge play. There's no buyback on Ember. Must have spent all his gold, but the Alk in danger, as he can't seem to deal with the CK damage. They might not need the Ember Spirit to take the fight. The stun and so blinks. Oh, Holly pops The BKB it. wore off right it's a at puku. the end. It's a puku for the Alk. Oh, no. Late game items up. Similar to last game where he was playing CK. He doesn't need to have an impact. He just needs to make sure they have a late game carry if IG oh, are unable Ollie to end the game. walks right into the lane. <laughs> he was painting up the hill. But Moon might get punished a big ball lightning forward. Emo with the pullback. They have the tiny blink debut, but do they have the kill? Emo keeps on dodging. He's getting a lot of remnant damage out. So Overload good. damage. They got to kill him off. 23 Savage. He's oh. going to die. They do finally get the kill on the storm, but none of the experience on the right heroes. Spectre dead again. They have to Moon buy back, back on yeah. Moon. They get a dominating streak. But this Manta soon, but they're jumping. They're looking. He's got a haste up on Emo, and he's going to commit onto the enemy fountain as it gets popped. Wards get dropped. They are fighting directly in the center of the Fnatic Heartland. Can they get the kills? 23 Savage, Chain Frost bouncing. They slice him up. He's got no buyback. He never got to use the haunt. They've lost two big cores and likely more ice 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 chaining to the low ground trying to retreat out successfully but storm keeps on balling and storm is gonna find him Got reels it. him in mid chain emo with the big catch that's a double kill 
racks up the bloodstone charges. And eventually. But not if you die like this. As DJ, speaking of, catches him out. It's going to get clipped by a torrent, though. A big ball lightning forward. Emo gets thrown up in the air instantly. Now the haunt comes. They want to take this fight, but the BKBs are popped. The rage is available. And it's going to be tough for Fnatic to burst anyone down. He goes for the back lines into a chain frost. 23 Savage. He's just not that strong yet. They're going to kill him off. Out for a minute. No buyback. DJ bought back for this. They need to get some key kills here. Flyfly, though, has a fresh rage and has an, uh, a heart, and he's gonna just TP away. No, no, right. no, no, he, they caught him. Can they kill him? They chuck him up, wow. smack him down. He's dead for over a minute. JT also in danger with no BKB. IG losing their footing and their poise here. Give up four kills when it felt like it could have been two. Yeah. Mid, they'll get bottom two, a 31K gold lead. Closing in on the GG. They're gonna go for Megas, straight to the top lane. No real answer from Fnatic. Oh, yeah. BKB by Moon. He'll try to fight it out. He commits everything for a stinking Shaman. He doesn't even get that. And now, plunging back in his jabs. That'll be another death. Another Bloodstone charge. He's at 32 Bloodstone charges, almost matching the minutes in this game. Emo balling out 19 2 and 9. What a play. Yeah, you know, he has a rough mid lane, as you do. Stone play. Take a fight here, perhaps. They're coming in for the wraparound. Hector revving up the stun. Blinding Light comes through. They want to take down Bryle. He doesn't have to banish. BKB committed. Starts to work on him. They need Schofield to help out here. The defensive banish now up, and it keeps him alive. Wait for the Nyx stun. It's a little and bit early. Bryle might be able to clean up this fight. Hector's already committed his BKB. The quad bolt from behind. Chris Luck, though, gets the kill on the OD. Now the chase is on, and it looks like the pandas are just a little too late. They will lose two fours and probably more. Moon Meander being pursued out, hounded by the Night Stalker, and they will find that extra kill. A triple for Chris Luck. Oh, man. Even without perfect XP now, he's going to lock onto Owie with the help of Whisper. Quick cleanup. Now the turn. Look for the clock. He's dead as well. One by one, and now onto the Moon Meander Abaddon, but they're going to ignore him. Go for the deeper kill. Try to bring down this OD, who's just getting right clicked in BKB. He's getting focused. Can they even get out? Bryle, no chance in hell. He's dead as well. And with that, with the finger coming through, it's going to be a full five man wipe and a coddle buyback to no avail. That has to be a lane of Rex. That, that's the game. And, There's and no the, coming back. You just got your BKB. They can actually set up for the kills. Time, yeah. Yeah. Oh, big two-hero Burrow. Follow up Lena stun, your classic Warcraft 3 combo. Instantly popping that Burrow time. They bring him back to full HP. Stolen Sandstorm. Not sure it's going to be enough, though, with the epicenter revving up. The oh. Burrow straight coming through again on two. Bryle, he jumped into it. He's going to instantly die. And now the Laguna Blade on the Snake King gets up the mech finally, but it's, it might be too little too late. They'll probably lose Stinger here. Now he popping the old, the two-hero Burrow. They keep on chasing for more. Finally, Hexter shows up to a fight, and it's another kill. Rubik down, make it four. Probably going to be Envy going down here as well. Blinking four on Whisper if he wants to continue chasing forward. It does look like they want to. They've got the Silence. They've got the Burrow. They found him. Lock him down, get in front, start smacking. He's tanky-ish, but not that tanky. And Alina Stun secures it. Whisper gets the last hit. A full wipeout. A six for one, because that was the Orchid complete. And Stinger running in, but he's got a Ghost Scepter, so he's going to be a little harder to kill. It's this Rubik that Chris Luck wants to focus on. Two minutes tanky, very tanky, but the three hero stun with the Ignis combo. It's basically like a prologue Chronosphere Ravage, it feels. They can't even get out of this thing. They're, They're all gonna dead. Lose the whole team again. Bryo couldn't get, he didn't get BKB off. He just got chain stunned <laughs> under the Will O Wisp. He got. That was. What, a four man burrow into like a three man Lena stun Jeez. plus a Will O Wisp on top? They don't they even got... need the episode. Now Envy comes back in. But Chris Luck keeps on chasing, forcing that TA back. They've gotten the bottom lane. They're diving on mid, looking for Eternal Envy. Hex coming through. Glimmer Cape to protect him, and Envy. Just getting hit once. Broken. Oh, he's broken, and they are broken, guys. This is painful and quick now as Beast Coast just start hitting the, the mid tower, bringing down that tier three. The chat wheels coming out. Bow to your liege, indeed. How appropriate with Hector on the king himself. He just wants to die, Hector, at this point, dropping 100 HP. They get the stun, the follow up. Bryle goes down. And be caught out. Their MDL tournament lives flashing before their lives, and 
the jig is up. The GG is called. Beast Coast showing that TI was not a fluke. Top eight again. C9. He's got his eyes on Gabby. Gabby will show mid. Oh. Does that backup behind him? Can they keep Gabby safe? Gabby. He's getting fully focused here by the four of them. He'll pop the chemical rage, try to walk this out. Barmel comes forward. KP's going to be back in the game, but Gabby, he's already dead. They're able to dive in, get the kill. See what TNC can find in return. It'll be one pick off on Tafir. The rest of J Storm out of there. So just the two supports going oh, no. down. Nine. If he falls as well, this will be pretty huge for TNC, and he does. It's a double kill. This out, and you're like, that doesn't feel that good. And they're going to, they're ganking up this hill. This is. Pretty aggressive from Dyer. I mean, Gabby doesn't care. He really does I think doesn't. he feels unkillable. We'll see if it's, it's going to be top. tested. I mean, yep. if they're slowly bringing him down. He's going to die. the vessel on him and the team a little far behind him, Gabby will fall. The they're upheaval. able to take him out. They couldn't get close enough to kill him off, to, to heal him back up. And with Gabby gone, they're able to move forward and wow. take down another. A bit of a, as you Wonder. said yourself, us to rely on. They'll force him back, but it is another melee Rax gone away from the base of J-Storm. TNC continuing to get the objectives. Yep, they're just trying. They want to run away with minimal. I think March might just end up suiciding here. And Gabby, he's thinking about going back in. He's going to throw the concoction out. Silence as well. They drag back Brax. Brax, he's got a BKB. He's going to turn. Arrow will connect onto Gabby. Brax goes for the TP out with the remainder of his BKB duration, and it will be enough to get him out on the, the back line. Move, killed off March. They jump back in now, looking to go for KP. They found themselves a second one in J Storm. They're not done yet. Nine looking to commit with the Shadow Dance. He's on to Gabby. Gabby forced to the side. Gabby, they'll take him down the once. There's no Omni, there's wow. no Chen to back him up. They can surround the out and try and go for round two. The arrow connects perfectly. Nine, he's racking up that essence shift. Another jump away. He doesn't have the Shadow Dance for 40 seconds. Will that BKB in a second? But they get the kill. J Storm, they're getting outside of the base. Yep. It is kind of a weird position because they know Moo's in their base. He had to defend against the creeps, and yeah, they just get out. They might look to fight, though. Nine. Nine. See, Shadow Dance popped, bringing back into the boat. Multiple boats flying out now with the 25 being hit. TNC's able to get themselves out of range. They'll turn to get the Hex out on tonight. Another nine. Hex. He needs some savior. The Geo's popped the cook middle tonight. They've killed the fish. The Slark is gone. Wow, uh, Hex into Hex is a pretty good combo. The Hexes are doing it. TNC. They left their base. <laughs> you every single fight without that bear. He's honestly pretty oh. free to do whatever he wants. The Hex is aggressive force. They will be able to shove the, the, the giant outside of the base with the oh. burst. He's brought low. He's going to put the BKB. Try and turn to start healing up. He's brought incredibly low by the physical damage. The focus is there onto Prax. Prax is dead. Prax does have his buyback back up. So he'll get immediately straight back into the action. Gabby focusing down the racks. TNC will finally be able to take another set of racks away. They turn the Hex onto nine, but the BKB dark back Shadow Dance will be there to take it off. They've lost the gyro. Mu buys back, looks to get back into this. They're doing their best to try and hold. The boats come crashing down onto Tim's. Tim's eats the cheese. Nine, jumps forward, goes up to keeping March safe, but the arrow connection means the March will still fall. Nine's not again. done. They're gonna try and chase for more, looking to jump in onto KP. Mu has the damage, shoots down the Omni Knight. Well, okay. 1,000 gold behind and up against Mega Creeps. I mean, if Moo dies here, you just forfeit. Let's Gabby. see. He's gonna come in, Moo needs help. He's able to get the BKB off, and Gabby's Holy dead! Holy shit. The Alk is gone. They're taking so much damage here for the Rapier. The stun's what? down with the Omni Knight. The phone goes crashing in. Refresher, GA, KP falls to the side. They turn their attention one tears with the chains around. The Hex is there, nine. He needs help. They're focusing the slug. e blade, a missile blade down. Nine fully low, but he's still got the BKB. He'll turn. Buyback was there for Gabby and Tim. The Arrow. arrows, will it catch anyone? It won't. No. They'll be able to juke it out with the Hex. It's on to Gabby. Gabby's now on point. Gabby's fully low. They've got to keep this Alk alive. He fought back for this. The refresher, but Knight's nice committing. He's diving in deep, looking to finish off Gabby. Gabby will be able to get back to the base, though, and they will get the three kills. J Storm now lose three heroes. It's over. GG is finally called, and TNC, wow. 70 minutes in, they're finally able to close it down. But my goodness, didn't J Storm give it their all in that? Yeah, and I love, I love the, the. He's just dead. And they're gonna feed the tomb. So that's, I mean, that's just, that is honestly a decent amount of team gold right there. Oh, is it Tim's? The, he's, he's trying to fight this. I mean, and they, they are the moves. Yeah, Gabby's he's here. Tim's. He's just set up a fantastic tower. <laughs> he just ran into Tim's four heroes, <laughs> and he's just set up not two kills, three kills. Brax falls as well. <laughs> Tim's is just.
Then then a, and Gabby, he's got a set up on another. He's going to oh be able to find God. fear on the back lines. Dude, that looks so funny. It's like, why? The BKBs wear off. They've got to be careful. The light strike away from Armel. Down to two of them. They've lost both the Lesh and the Axe. Instant buybacks. Can they kill anyone on TNC though? March still under the Will of Wisp. March will fall. The grab there as well. Also holding down KP, but Gabby is ready for the turnaround. Moves in with the song set up. They're getting themselves straight over to the back lines. The second static still. Kinetic feels down. Trapping move. The Lesh brought back for this as the Lesh will fall. They have lost March, but TNC as a whole just overrun the rest of JSTORM. Nine's dead. Will instantly buy back, but JSTORM, they've Without their carry lash for a full two minutes, TNC cleaning up the mega creeps, pushing Jason back towards the fountain. Nine will jump forward, full blood have door. a bit of a poke, shackles out as well, but Gabby just rips apart the Chaos Knight that will save him for now, forcing him back to the fountain. They also get Gabby caught out with the rift, but the wards tanking up the fountain means that none of the hits will fly the way off the Naga Siren. Nine jukes out, and with the, the force. force, they do manage <laughs> to get him in the fountain, KP. A cheeky force play gets the Verno, but the tier fours are falling. TNC pushing on to try and close it up as the Ancient will be exposed. Brax trying with his last bit of might to catch out Armel. They get the cool control into the dunk. They've taken him out the once, but the Aegis is there. Be back up a second time. Gabby with his BKB, cleans up nine. Jaystorm's back to the fountain. They're out of the game, out of the series. GG is called, and TNC will take the second game, and with that, take the series 2-0. Yeah. Is there Ori gonna pop his now? Turn on to Arteezy. They throw out the stun, it's gonna connect on to two. Not bad, but is there any follow up? EG just wanting to take down one. They get the nullifier down, just trying to walk away. The white hole is down there as well. The paparazzi is destroying right, that Ramsey's. backline. Ramsey's looking for the black hole, it's not gonna catch anybody. And they have the disruption afterwards. Literally, no damage as Ramsey's is gonna get pulled apart. DY God as GG gets called. Vici dominant game number one. One hope to maybe turn it around, but it, it was a long time coming here. Excellently. Some bounty runs. Nice bola set up onto the Veno. Oh, and they've got the Winter's Curse out. Gang in a little bit of trouble himself as they bring him down very low, but not enough to find the kill. And now Ramsey's also going to be losing his life shortly. Although, maybe the double chain frost, the jump in, the chrono. Oh, it's a legion of pain as they all get killed off their crit, though. He's also getting ran down by Ori. Ori oh, looking for the cleave kill. No! <laughs> Emperor's like, that's what. Radiance done for Ori. They jump in. Chrono gonna connect there onto two. Is there enough follow up damage though? But where's Radiance my is still burning the whole time through. Ramsey's able to get it as he pulls him back in. Finding the kill on Akunka. The bash is now out onto Yang. Looking to escape though. Arteezy not wanting to chase any further. Or maybe just go towards Yang, but he just time walks into the full oh, out no. as the hook saves his life. I was close to tragic. They're still chasing though. PYW, he wants it. Thinking the big about jump. Looking for the finish. Splinter oh. Blast jump away. Can he escape? No. DY gets the kill. Abed hoping to make something happen as the Chain Frost bounces around a couple times. Ramsey's rotting. Gets out the damage, but the heal coming from DY. It's not looking like it's going to be able to take down the Gyrocopter. Does he die? Yes. They get that kill, but on the other side, PYW kills off the rest of them. Dude, he got the slam what? dunk on two. Gets could want to use it possibly, but already down super low. Grimstroke about to die. The Chain Frost bouncy not doing nearly oh, enough damage. Up. Abed, does he find him in the back line to get the kill? Okay, maybe a chance for a turnaround here. Possibly EG finding their footing as they've killed off three. They got them all. A fourth hero to fall. Don't look now, ladies and gentlemen. Abed? Oh, maybe not a fourth. Is Yang? Yeah, Yang's a crazy. little scary. Chase, slight uh, jump. <laughs> oh, he gets a triple on a player. Oh, he got him at the end. Wow, I did not think he was going to get that last hit. Okay. Putting there, Dude. jump in. Abed wanting to make a little bit of space. Arteezy finding DZ. an opening. Or he's down fairly low. The big call there onto two, though. Trying to blow them up. If they die at this point, there aren't buybacks on the side of the region. If they buy back on the ledge, Abed trying to take down DY. Can they kill him off? Arteezy, he's in the back line. The dismember is doing so much, but no. The Satanic gets off. Now the follow up, Abed trying to run away. Can they find that They're kill? They're dead. three dead. EG, they pull a miracle. Are you kidding me? Abed able to make the escape. EG, they make it all happen. Goodness gracious me, oh my. Oh, the dunk. Oh, PYW, he bought him. He bought him. That's what they call it. <laughs>
<laughs> as he gets on over Not to the really shield. happening. The Willow goes down. It connects on the two. Needs to run. The tons of damage out now. Oh, no, GCP manages to get the Omni Slash off. Not hitting on that many heroes. Can they kill off UAW? Not going to happen. But the Chain Frost, my god, they destroy him. Fly gets the double kill. Yang trying to run away, but they managed to find that stun with the Inkswell. Chase forward for a bit more. And they will get that kill. Triple kill Fly. Something I never thought I'd say. They need they see humongous Ramsey. Ramsey's. It's the blink away. Ori thinking about chasing. He got four stepped in there. Blink on cooldown still for the moment. Looking for that follow up. Trying to get anything off at all. Again. But the Omni Slash again turned around against them. It is not doing the damage that they needed in the least. But RP, oh. which was stolen, thrown back the other direction. Put a fork in him. They are looking done as VG yep. are going to move on in the upper bracket finals to face TNC. GG VG looking like uh, the stronger team throughout this series without a doubt played some exceptional Dota and uh, in, in some moments when they were ahead sure there there were uh, some issues of uh